high pressure fuel pump piston upgrade kit and today we are just going to be installing it. So let's get right into it. And take one. Okay, these are the tools you will be needing for today. So first, unplug the thrust sensor and the electrical connector. And then go ahead and turn on your car. It will sound absolutely terrible, but it will relieve the fuel pressure. Disconnect the battery. And then go ahead and remove the cap and the Schrader valve with a 13 millimeter wrench. And make sure to put some rags under it for the fuel that will be dripping out. Also wear some safety glasses just in case the fuel does come spraying at you and gets in your eyes and maybe just don't do that. Anyways, here's the Schrader valve. Next, remove the fitting for the hard fuel line with a 17 millimeter wrench. Some other years do have banjo bolts, the 2007 does not, which I'm thankful for, but yeah. Next, we are going to take out the three bolts that hold the high pressure fuel pump in with the T30 Torx bit and an extension. Then go ahead and pull it off. And while you're here, just go ahead and check the cam follower. As you can see, mine is literally brand new, so I don't have to replace it, but while you're there, just go ahead and look at it. Next, use some pliers to move the hose clamp down, and then get yourself a little pocket screwdriver and carefully push the hose down and then pull, and then boom, it comes out. And there it is, in my hands, wow. Then get your vise, but don't actually pick it up. It's very heavy. Okay, so now wrap your high pressure fuel pump up like a little baby with a couple of rags and then put it in the vise. And make it pretty snug. Okay, so for this part, typically what you're gonna wanna do is literally just pull off the spring. I couldn't. So I had to take off these retainers first, which was a real pain. And then I just pulled the spring off from there. And there's the piston and the spring. So now I use the 18 millimeter deep socket to get the piston out of there. And then you pop it out. And there's the new one next to the old one. I also found out that my socket was not deep enough to do it the right way, so we had to do it this way. So typically you'll put the spring on first and then put the whole like piston on, but again my socket wasn't deep enough so I had to put the piston on and then the spring, as you can see, and then the retainers on, which is also a pain, so just get yourself a deep enough socket. So this part was a pain, but if you do have yourself a deep enough socket, go ahead and go back to that little instruction manual I showed you, and then pause and read from there. But it worked, and it looks amazing. Now it's time to put it all back together, basically reversing what we just did. So first we'll put the hose back on, and the hose clamp. Next, put the high pressure fuel pump back in and then push it pretty good until it like feels like it's in there. Now it's time to put the bolts back on in a triangle formation and progressively. Basically, tighten them little by little so that they go on evenly and the high pressure fuel pump sits on evenly as possible. And then torque them at 10 newton meters. Then go ahead and put the fitting back on with the 17 millimeter wrench. Then put the Schrader valve back on with the 13 millimeter wrench and then the cap on on top of that. Clip the sensors back on and then connect the battery Go ahead and grab your 10 millimeter socket if you haven't lost it already. I didn't, or did I? I don't know. 
jokes. It's funny, okay? Laugh! And then go ahead and turn on your car. I always prep the fuel pump. I don't know if you need to, but I always do just in case. And then check for leaks. Okay guys, so that was the 034 Motorsport High Pressure Fuel Pump Piston Upgrade Kit. As you can see, it was a super easy install. And thank you again, 034 Motorsport, for helping me out and helping me with Qbert especially. If you guys need any high-end performance parts for your car, definitely check out 034 Motorsport. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace! One goes goodbye. Just kidding. We're, we're not that rude. It's beautiful though. Don't you think? Look at that.